So today I am reviewing Gail Sobet's A Chance to Dance for You. Chance to Dance for You is quite a good LGBT book. The main character is gay and the story centers around the trials of being gay in a small town. The overall tone of the book is well done. It's quite fun. The main character is sassy and challenges worldviews on a regular basis. It also makes a lot of allusions to music. This whole story is about challenging the norms. And while I think it does a fairly good job of it, I also find a lot of it exaggerated. However, it definitely does fulfill its role of making you think, I guess. Most of the story is just contrasting the main character and his love interest's life. These two main characters just foil each other really well. Uh, so does the MC and his best friend, though. Together, these three characters just challenge the stereotypes that people have to deal with in today's age. Not just LGBT stereotypes, also racism. This novel is character-driven, but unlike a lot of character-driven stories, I didn't fall in love with the characters at all. I felt for a situation uh, because he is being torn between two things that he loves and the situation of the other characters um, because most for the most part they're dealing with something that isn't their fault they, they can't help who they are but people are being prejudiced and stereotyping against them and just being dicks in general for no real reason and while I can empathize with these situations I just didn't really I didn't care. Not about. I didn't care about the characters. I, I guess these situations just didn't resonate with me, and that's strange because I I am bisexual and I'm from a small town, quite a small town actually, a lot smaller than what was described in this book. Um, it only had a population of 2,500 people, so I don't know. I guess I just found it exaggerated. Like I said. It just didn't fit in with the experience that I'd seen and known. It probably didn't help that um, the book mostly centered on high school romance. And I don't know whether I'm the exception to the rule or something, but I find high school romance laughable, even in real life. And I just find it painful to try and read a story about somebody who's head over heels and unrequited love with someone. It's just, uh, why... Overall, the story was good though. Um, the ideas and the morals that are presented are really beneficial. So it's definitely a good book to read for younger people. Yeah, it's got a lot of heart and kindness behind it. I just didn't get really into it. Um, but anybody who really likes Glee, they probably like this book. Um, also anyone who just likes high school romance, I guess, probably like this one too. That's not me, but I'm sure so, uh, I'm sure other people would. And that's basically all I have to say on A Chance to Dance for You. If you've read the book and had a completely different opinion, that it'd be great if you had a video response and we could discuss the differences in our opinion. Um, if you have any books that you'd like to suggest for me to read, that'd be cool too. Hmm. Yeah, that's about it. Comment if you want. Video response if you are so inclined. And have a good day. Happy reading.